Holy Father has called us in the Diocese of Penang and the entire Church throughout the world to participate by giving our ideas and opinions to the process that culminates at the Synod of Bishops in October 2023. So, what is a Synod? It comes from two Greek words, sun, which means together, and hodos, which means way or journey. Thus, the original way of describing a synod is journeying together. To further emphasize the idea of journeying together, the Holy Father has chosen synodality as the very focus of the synod, which means a synod that is going to focus, talk, or discuss the importance of journeying together. In short, to impress upon us the journeying mentality, the official logo will resemble the idea of journeying together or the idea of synodality, where people from all walks of life, children, young and old, able, and those who are in need of assistance, church officials, and general people of God are walking together with each other. In this journey, Holy Father has requested that we pay special attention to three important concerns of the Church and the society, which are communion, to seek meaning of our lives by living it for others, for that is the very root that comes from the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, who exist in unity and love. Participation A call to get involved, or turin padam, especially to exercise deep and respectful listening to one another. Mission To tell others in words or deeds that God truly loves them, nothing less than that. I'm excited, are you? This process has actually begun officially on the 10th of October, 2021 when the Holy Father launched it at St. Peter's Basilica. In like manner, Bishop Sebastian Francis has also launched the process in our very own diocese on the 17th of October at the Cathedral of the Holy Spirit, assuring the Holy Father of our support while inviting everyone from Kelantan, Geda, Perlis, Perak, and Penang to participate as a service of our love for the Church. But how can we execute this process in our diocese? In order to make this synod a reality, there will be two important phases. The first phase would be on the consultation with the people of God. In order to ensure a smooth sail experience along this journey of consulting the people of God, the bishop has formed pre-synodal team which consists of various people from the Diocese of Penang. The team would assist the bishop to collate all the concerns and responses received from the people of God throughout the diocese. The team is reaching out to every group and individual in the diocese, namely the clergy, parishioners, seminarians, students orang asli, migrants, people who have left the church, and many others. The team has circulated two essential questions in order to facilitate the whole consultation process with the people of God, which can be obtained from the parishes or any ministries. The second phase would be the final praying and decision-making that would take place in Rome by Pope Francis and selected bishops throughout the world. 
Our very own shepherd, Bishop Sebastian Francis, will represent Malaysia, Singapore, and Brunei in Rome with the Holy Father to pray and decide together. For a synodal church, communion, participation, mission.